Hello, I'm Jockney, this is Saket, and we're going to do the prologue quest for the Clockwork City of Knives and Long Shadows. The Clockwork City releases for the Xbox One and PS4 players tomorrow, which is November the 7th. And I've already done this quest with Eats Many Cakes, but I thought I'd show you guys the quest just to get ready for it. So I'm in Deshan and I'm at the Mages Guild here in Mournhold. And you've got to find Order of the Eye Dispatch Note to start the quest. To the Archmaid on Ivea, I pray that this letter reaches you soon, Master. My fellow scryers and I have made a shocking discovery. Whether it proves to be a boon or a catastrophe remains to be seen. Alas, we do not wield sufficient power to act on our findings. This matter may be beyond the ken of even the greatest wizard of our age. I humbly beseech you, meet me at the Mage's Guildhall in Mournhold as soon as possible. I will tell you everything when you arrive. Yours in the sight of Cyrobane, Docent Scaladier, Associate Scryer of the Order of the Eye. So, seeing as I'm already here, I won't have far to go. And I'll change the log in my journal as well. So a junior member of the Mage's Guild named Scaladier insists that he and his associates have made a significant and magical discovery, one that could prove disastrous if left uninvestigated. There he is. You read my letter? Oh, I'm so grateful you've come. We found something powerful. A, a Daedric... Wait, what's happening? That looks nasty. No! Damn it! Who's doing this? Let me send him straight to Sylvan God! Is not fast enough. Damn it all! Did you see what happened here? Was it his shadow? Oh, just as I feared. I knew looking for this artifact would get us killed. I warned them. Warned all of them, but they wouldn't listen. They never listen. I've got to find the others. There's still time to save them. It has to be. Something very dangerous. But that can wait. My friends are in danger and don't even see it. Some scryers, huh? Adeber's in Shornhelm, and when Riddle is in Marbrook. Milo's in Stormholt, maybe? Yes, yes, he must be there. I just hope we're not too late. Thanks for the help. Got any questions? Let's just make it quick, all right? My friends can't very well outrun their own shadows. I always have questions. Bonifred of Clan Owlcloak. Skaldia and I came up together in Riften, under Magus Auriella. He was always the sharper blade. It came easily for him. Me? Not so much. Got too much frost in my blood. Still, I can hold my own. It just takes me a while. Unfortunately, Skaldia's not the only mage who's been killed by his own shadow. He's just the most recent. Other members of our order have been turning up dead all over Tamriel. I hurried here to warn him, but I wasn't fast enough. Oh, Shaw's bones, you really want to know, huh? Yes, you are sending me on a quest. My associates and I are all junior scryers in the Order of the Eye. We scoured the tombs and ruins of Tamriel, looking for extra planar threats, rifts in the Vale, Daedric artifacts, that sort of thing. We've had visions of a Daedric artifact. At least we think it's a Daedric artifact. It's hazy, you know, obscured by something like frosted glass. Sorry. Skaldia was always the wordsmith. A mage can't afford to be sure of anything. But I'd bet my family's meadery on it. Daedric artifacts grant untold power to those that carry them, but always at a cost. The mage's guild can't let even one of these things fall into the wrong hands. Other junior scryers in the Order of the Eye. It was just Skaldia and me at first, but others caught on eventually. We started writing each other once we realized we'd all stumbled upon the same artifact. <laughs> Thought we could 
find it all on our own. You think I haven't tried? I sent projections, but this doesn't come easily for me. Uh, magic, I mean. Anyway, I have to warn High King Yorin first. I heard that his rune galder has been looking into the artifact as well. Please, just find my friends. All right, let's go. Now that I've landed in Shadowfen, you'll have different markers on your map, so make sure you follow the right one. So we're finding Nilo, and there he is. Wasn't too far from the waste shrine. Stay back, back! I will not die like the others. You think I do not know? I know. I have heard the stories. Ragar, Gilnanor, and now Skaldir, all dead at your hand, no doubt. Well, I am too clever. Oh, he's blaming me. Weaver. How clever does he now think he is? Me and my wards will tear you apart. I'm going to intimidate him because I don't like the fact that he's just blamed me. I don't. All right. I'm sorry. I'll come out. By the ache, you remind me of my sister Zarai. She is a wonderful person. When she gets mad, I'd rather tangle with an angry hackwing. How do you know about the shadows? Yes, of course. Zarai will put me in a very bright room. Or should it be a very dark room? Uh, I cannot take this kind of stress. Look, my scales are falling out. Thank you. And Bonifred. Tell her I am sorry I doubted her dedication in the past. Yes, yes, I know I will. If you have spoken to Bonifred, you must know about our research into the Daedric artifact. Please, take my notes. Preferably far, far away. I hid them in those roots over there. I am sure that is what these shadows want. Keep your belly to the mud, friend. And keep your eyes on your shadow. I will do the same. So he's got nothing else left for me to talk about, and he's sent me to pick up these. I saw the water woman again today. That is what I have taken to calling her. Each time I fill my scrying bowl, I see her before long. She never speaks, and when she turns to face me, her eyes are cloaked in shadow, hidden beneath a black hood. I think she is beautiful by dry skin standards, but she seems cold, like river water after a thaw. I do not understand. All I seek is the artifact, but all I find is this woman. Sauri says I am doing it incorrectly and accidentally gazing into some poor Breton's parlour. I do not think she is right though. I filled my scrying bowl with tea instead of bog water. The scrolls say that flecks of leaf and seed can help break through persistent visions. I will try anything at this point. I fear that each time I see the water woman, my chances of finding the artifact diminish. I managed to elude her today. I focused on her mouth and passed through it. There was a flapping of wings, I think, then nothing. Blackness. Like Hellstrom, heart mud. I narrowed my eyes and closed my nostrils and folded back my spines, trying to swim against the current, still nothing. Maybe this means nothing. Nope, maybe this nothing means something. I admit it fills me with trembling. Skaldir insists that we trudge on, but the water woman scares me. The darkness scares me. Time for a wallow, I think, a long one. So he doesn't seem too happy at all. And I believe if you don't have the intimidate option, the quest will send you to find his sister to convince him to lower the ward instead. So now I have arrived in Marbrook and that's in green shade and we're going to find our next person to rescue. Looks like it's just up these set of steps. I see you leering at me. On your way or I'll call the guards. Well, that's a bit rude. Huh. 
So the shadow almost got her. And as expected, she has run off. But I think it's just to the local mages guild. And obviously hiding behind a potted plant is the best place from your shadow. Is is it dead? It was my shadow, wasn't it? If his name, why would it attack me? I always treated it well. Plenty of sunshine, candlelight and such. All done now, I suppose. It doesn't look like it's coming back. In great. Now I feel... Uh, damn. Not really. I think my shadow may have peeled off some of my animus. My soul, I mean. Or maybe just some of my magical aptitude. Either way, it's something I'll miss. But don't blame yourself. You did keep it from killing me, after all. Well, that was charitable of her. Didn't think she much liked me. Bit of a sore head, that one. Anyway, I'm grateful. I hid my notes on the artifact in the planter over there. Just in case, you know. They're yours if you want them. So she's hidden her notes on the other potted plant. This woman really knows how to do stuff secretly. Eleven Phosphor gave the gazing mirror another try today. Still nothing. Well, not exactly nothing. There's a lot of mist and indistinct murmuring and ghostly figures. Also, an intermittent thunking noise that sounds like someone prying a weapon out of a pothole. But beyond that, nothing. I racked my brain, trying to think of a place in Tamriel full of fog, murmuring, wagons and potholes. Not surprisingly, I've come up empty-handed. Maybe I'll try the moon sugar Rebiri... Sira? Suggested. The tree things won't like it, but I've got to believe the green will forgive me just this once. I'll eat a whole boar afterward, I promise. 13 Phosphor. Well, that was a mistake. Trying to eat some weird plant after a lifetime of meat consumption was a terrible idea. Been stuck in the privy for the better part of a day. I suppose it wasn't a total loss, though. Sari, I think that's how you pronounce it, tells me that the first state of sugar is the most powerful so this might have been my best chance to catch a glimpse of the artifact. I managed to pass through the mist and the ghostly whispers this time, but eventually I ran into something. It was smooth, spherical, but totally impassable. It whirred and thunked once. Then I threw up. I'll have to pass this by Skaldir. He's heard of thunking too, though he describes it as a cranking sound. We're getting closer, I know it. She writes like she speaks too, bless her. Now it's just one more to go. So we've arrived at the Mages Guild in Sean Helm. You look a bit lost, friend. Can I help you find a book? I know a great many mages. The person I don't know, of course, is you. Why are you asking about a Adebar? Bonifred? The nearsighted scryer? What she... Never mind. A Daber left just a moment ago. Said he needed some quiet. He usually goes to the courtyard behind the guild hall when he needs some time alone. Is he going to be alright? You're serious, aren't you? Mara, protect us. I'll gather up the other initiates and alert the Magister at once. Please, just find a Daber and bring him back safe. We'll do all we can to protect him. This doesn't sound good, does it? Even when I did this with Eats Many Cakes the first time, you just got that feeling. That's not behind, is it? Apparently I went the wrong way. There he is. Let's see if I read of his journal. 16 sun dusks. Given my lack of success scrying with the ebony sphere, I've moved on to augury. I started with starling, but they never stayed for long. Too unpredictable, too dependent on the sh shared movement of the flock. 
I had some measured success with vultures, but the repeti repetition gave me vertigo. Round and round and round they go, telling the same story again and again. I was surprised to find that I've had the most success with crows. They're perceptive, adaptable, and seem just as interested in the process as I am. I released a few yesterday and breathed deep from my nerm powder box. Before long, the birds started weaving patterns. Some Daedric letters, I think. Soon afterward, most of the birds gathered into a hoop of sorts, while the largest soared through it, spinning like a half-fletched arrow. A corkscrew, or perhaps a key. I counted 16 passes before they finally settled back into their coops. I can't help but think it relates to a door, or perhaps a portal? Doors, always doors. And 16 passes, 16 princes? It can't be a coincidence. But where is this door? Do they speak of the artifact's position or the artifact itself? More questions. Always more questions. I should confer with Nilo. I think he's done something similar with fish. If we don't make more progress soon, I think we'll have to inform the Archmage. We've spent too much time already. Mara knows what terrors this Daedric artifact could unleash. Unfortunately for him, it's too late. Approach me. Do not be alarmed. Only you can see me. I am Lilatha, Sigic Master of the Gazing Glass. I have watched you from afar, and I believe we share the same goal. You seek to destroy these vengeful shadows, yes? I believe we can help each other. All the shadows' victims were seeking a Daedric artifact. An extra planar antiquity that remains hidden from our sight. To solve these murders, we must first locate the artifact. I require two objects to find it. An Anuic lantern and a liminal lens. This sounds like a fetch quest. I believe the lantern lies hidden in a sunken ship near Carnathia's roost. The lens rests in a coffer deep within the howling sepulchres. Recover the items. Then seek out my boat near Valkal Guard. Trust no one. Our enemies are very well hidden. I am sorry we can't have this conversation in person. I fear that I am too tempting a target for this shadowy killer. I must remain hidden. You have questions. I urge you to keep them brief. There's no telling when our enemy will strike again. Yes. I take, I take it that, that you're unfamiliar with our order. That's, That's hardly a surprise. We, we once served as advisors and teachers to the greatest kings and emperors, but no longer. We retreated to our hidden isle of our tail, content to study in seclusion. Indeed. It's an island beyond Tamriel's borders, where we can research the truths of the Orbis without interruption. That is the purpose of the Sigic Order, after all to study magic for the betterment of all. There are worrying signs, portents that cannot be ignored. I fear that a Daedric threat looms over Tamriel. Nothing so crude and obvious as the plain mouth. No, it's something hidden. And I suspect that this Daedric artifact may hold some answers. They are critical components of an ancient Sigic mechanism known as the Obscuros. The Obscuros is a scrying device. It magnifies a mage's perception and projects their visions for all to see. A powerful tool indeed. When my order retreated to Artea, we scattered the device's components to prevent it from being misused. I'm afraid I can't say. The forces arrayed against us are too mysterious. They may have found a way to listen in. I can't risk divulging the Obscurus's location. Collect the items, and I promise, my boat will be waiting for you in Valkyl Guard. Indeed. A self-steering vessel of my own design. Climb aboard, and the enchantment I've placed on it will bring you to me directly. It's quite safe, I assure you. That's what she says now. Very little. Daedric artifacts are notoriously difficult to track. Some misguided soul may discover one and wield it for a time, but it always vanishes eventually, sometimes for a week, 
sometimes for centuries. Oh, yes. Items of power always introduce some measure of peril to the world. This is doubly true with Daedric artifacts. They exist to carry out the dark intentions of their creators, you see. They turn even the best intentions to malice eventually. That is the question, isn't it? I trained for centuries on the Isle of Arteo, briefly under Sotha Seal himself. Yet still this artifact eludes me. Vexing is the word. Either this artifact is shrouded by a powerful wound, or it isn't here. It might be tucked away in a pocket plane, or caught in some orbit gyre, bouncing between worlds. Impossible to say. That's why I need the lantern and the lens. So I'm now outside of the Dell to collect the first piece. The easiest way shrine to travel from is Valley of the Scars, and then just follow this road all the way up until you find it. If I remember rightly, it's quite a long delve to run through, so I'll try and get there in one piece. And even worse, a camp mount in this location. So once you've run around the dungeon, you then come to this door to collect the liminal lens. And inside we find a resurrected dragon priest. So the closest way trying to go from is actually Kanathi's Roost, that's what it's called, and then it's just straight south down to here. So first of all there's a soggy note. Well this is the end, stuck with a poison blade and left to die in a sunken ship. What a way to go, the crabs are already sizing me up. Funny, I always loved eating crabs. Fairs, fairs, I guess. I thought I might write a farewell note to everyone I'll miss, but to oblivion with that. I want those skeeving bastards to pay for what they did to me. If you're reading this, my former friends stole a great prize from this shipwreck and took it to Hazak's Hollow. It's worth a king's fortune. Kill those whore sons and it's yours. Getting sleepy now, what a life. This place is a piss pot. Good riddance. So I'm now standing outside of Hazak's Hollow. It's still in Kanathi's Roost, and all I did was go to Mistral Way Shrine and just went straight across to the east of the map to where I'm standing now. There's also a quest, I believe it's to do with this Hazak's Hollow as well, but we're just here for hours, so I'm going to give that one a skip. There are some enemies to fight in here. Looks like somebody else may have already done it. Which is just handy. Except for these guys up here. Probably could have got away with it, but... No. Yes. 
So now we have to go and find Lilatha's boat in Oradon. Vocal guard. So I'm now here in Ordon at the Focal Guard Way Shrine and we're just going to go down south to find the boat. Yeah. So, I'll tell you what, this has been great for finding everything, getting a little bit of experience running around new and different places on this character. How far can I jump? Whee! Not very far, but the swimming again! Not a fan of all this swimming without my Eat Swimming Cakes. So this is the boat. Wait, don't leave yet. Has she got new information for us? Or is it something else? Are you really going to climb aboard this death trap? Just hold a moment and think it through. Would you believe pluck and intuition? Yeah, didn't think so. I may look the part, but I'm no bloodhound. Truth is, I slipped a sporing coin into your pocket before you left Mournhold. A sporing coin? A sporing coin. It's an enchanted drake. Looks mundane, but it bears a charm that we can track. If you don't approve, look, we can Well, no, not really, because technically you've been now, following me. I can't let you get on this boat alone. It's too dangerous. Let me go with you. So now we have some red options. So remember, whichever choice you go for, that's it. You can't change your mind afterwards. So it's either you're right, let's finish this investigation together. Sounds kind of pally for someone who slipped a tracking device onto you. Or, I don't think so, the person I'm meeting wants me to come alone. Now, when you think about it, every bad guy says that really, don't they? I want the money, or I want this, and you've got to come alone, no cops. Well, obviously this is Tamriel, and this person, the person we're going to, said that they were actually searching for this device and we've collected items for them so do you think to yourself are they the bad one and we've just collected stuff on their behalf or do we think Bonafried in front of us is a double crosser well on Eat So Many Cakes I actually did it where I left her alone so this time round I think Saket would realise this person's a little dubious, so I'm going to go with, you're right, let's finish this investigation together. Smart. Two heads are better than one. Especially when one of those heads is as hard as mine. Let's hop to it, eh? It's about time we got some answers. She looks a bit seasick. I'm sorry. I know I came to help, but I'm I'm not very good on boats. I'll be fine, really. You go on ahead. Just give me a moment to catch my breath and I will catch up with you. Hmm, this doesn't bode well again. Let's see. see the appeal. Ah, you've arrived. Welcome to Dranil Kia. Let's get in out of the rain, shall we? I trust you bought the items I requested. The scrying chamber is just up the hill. Follow me. The weather here is always poor. A side effect of the Obscurus's presence, I'm told. 
Come, it's just through here. The Obscurus device has been dormant for centuries. Do you feel that chill? It's like... Oh no! What's happening to me? Oh, she has been frozen. I forgot that. <laughs> Go. You'll die just like the rest. No, I will not perish here. see her get defeated that time Victory at last. but we did it set the lens and the lantern in the obscuros time to see what this has all been about Some new Daedric beast? The clockwork city. She doesn't seem to be happy Could about all be? these revelations. After all this time? The images revealed by the Obscuros leave little room for doubt. The Daedric artifact we seek is somewhere inside the clockwork city. Why would Sothasil allow such an item to enter his domain? I fear that something terrible has happened. Yes, of course. I sometimes forget this is not common knowledge. So the seal, brother to Vivek and Magus of the Tribunal, created the Clockwork City long ago. He rarely speaks of it, but scholars believe this city has the power to remake Tamriel. The city functions as a simulacrum of the corporeal plane. Making a change to the Clockwork City may well change some aspect of Tamriel itself. This is all speculative, but I've studied under Sotha Seal. I have no doubt that this is within his power. Indeed. An unwelcome prospect, to be sure. Normally, I would assure you that Sotha Seal has the situation well in hand. He is a friend to the Sijix and to the people of Tamriel. But the presence of this Daedric artifact gives me pause. I must inform the Sijic Rite Master. If Daedra have breached the gates of the Clockwork City, we must move swiftly. As for you, I would counsel vigilance. Whoever set these events in motion no doubt sees you as a threat. Take this, and my thanks. We must employ the most powerful scrying device in Tamriel, and all it yields is more questions. Hmm, the perfect metaphor for the scholarly life, I suppose. I wish I could say yes. I fear that in destroying my shadow, we've destroyed some vital piece of my animus. I feel thin, diminished. A weakened Sijic is still a formidable mage, but something is definitely broken. Best not to think about it. So you knew our attacker? Hmm. She was powerful indeed, and yet I sensed that the strength was not her own. Her form was clumsy, but she struck with the power of a master wizard. Usually I'd suspect possession, but with her, 
I'm not so certain. Someone granted her powers beyond her ken. An agent of oblivion, no doubt. Bonifred was clearly filled with hatred, consumed by jealousy or resentment, perhaps. The Daedra can twist those passions into untold horrors. I pity her. Well, no one really knows Sophocir. Not even the other members of the Tribunal. I studied under him for a time. He was patient, surprisingly attentive. The perfect teacher in many respects. Even so, I never really felt that I knew him. Beyond the obvious? Not much. I can tell you he's nothing like Vivek. He never spoke about himself, or the Dark Elf faith. I always got the sense that he... Well, resented isn't the right word. He just seemed ambivalent about that part of his life. Only obliquely, and mostly in metaphor. It's his primary pursuit now. Some say it's his obsession. You see, despite all his power, there is a melancholy to him. It's unfortunate, but not surprising. True wisdom always brings some measure of despair. I must admit, I'm unaccustomed to discussing such matters with people outside our order. But I think you've more than earned the privilege. Rightmaster Iacusis directs the Sigis. He rivals Sotha Seal in wisdom, if not in power. Something like, yes. The old ways give little credence to such titles. What is a god other than an exceptionally powerful agent? Anyway, power is overrated. Wisdom is the true measure of a person. In that regard, Iacusis is great indeed. Someday, perhaps. The Sigic Order's Isle of Arteum is no longer here. It may return in time, but for now, you'd probably have an easier time reaching Aetherius or realms beyond. The Order values solitude, much like Sotha Seal. That is the end of the of Knives and Long Shadows quest, the prologue to Clockwork City. And when you go into your mementos, the reward for this is this little funky item as well, showing off part of the Clockwork City. If you made it this far into the video, thank you very much and give it a like. And I will see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching.